We just simply cannot afford to continue down this path and expect that there will not be consequences. Consequences for us, and if not for us, certainly for future generations. At the least, we are mortgaging the future of our kids and our grandkids, and it is completely irresponsible. We just came back, uh, all of us back in our districts, and I can tell you, uh, I spent mo uh, most of the weekend out talking to people across the district, uh, and they are very uh, concerned about the impact of this president's policy and the policy of this Congress uh, on their daily lives. I have constituents who are choosing each week whether they can buy groceries or whether they can buy gas for the car. I spoke uh, just recently to one constituent who had been out of the workforce uh, for about 10 years. This individual, by the way, had 13 kids, which I thought was amazing, but he'd been out of the workforce uh, for 13 years and just took a job because he can no longer afford, he can no longer make uh, ends meet because of the policies of this president and the rising prices that have been, uh, that have been created by the policies of this administration. Uh, and they are angry that the president had a White House party to celebrate the passage of the so-called Inflation Reduction Act. And this uh, celebration, of course, just recently was uh, broadcast uh, amid a backdrop of plummeting stock, the plummeting stock market, and upon the news that morning, just that morning, of another month of record high uh, inflation. And no matter how the president wants to talk about it, no matter how Democrats want to talk about it, Madam Speaker, he's, he says that inflation has leveled off, but we're still at 8.5% above what prices were just 12 months ago. That is something we haven't seen uh, in our country for about 40 years. And this was after Democrats and the president were saying this would be transitory inflation. You'd think, you'd think if we're in a hole, at some point we'd stop digging. But instead, the president, congressional Democrats, while they're patting themselves on the back, continue to spend taxpayer dollars. Just last night, President Biden was on 60 Minutes arguing that he deserves some credit, uh, again, for his fiscal policies while inflation is at another 40-year high. The president speaks fiscal responsibility, yet every action that he takes only balloons uh, our debt and balloons our deficits. It is far past time, far past time for his wasteful inflationary spending agenda to come to an end. And the American people, the con constituents in my district can no longer afford the policies of this administration.